Okay, let's do a Sephora haul. Completely forgot the Sephora sale is like, I think in a week, so. First thing I got, I already tried because I was so excited about it. It's this Patrick Ta plumping major volume gloss and I got the shade two cc's can you see how glossy it is it's insane I got another plumping gloss I saw some girl on tiktok talking about the Fenty Beauty gloss balms I think they're plumping I don't know but this one is in shade fussy let's just layer this over is the air like an annoying sound should I turn it off Okay, I had to move you guys because this is getting like, it keeps falling my way from the car. Okay, let's try fussy over top. I love this too, but it's hard to tell because I already had the Patrick Ta one on. And then I get my favorite Rare Beauty eyebrow gel, but I don't know if they don't sell it in store or if it was sold out, but I just got the clear Patrick Ta lamination one. I also love the Refi one, but that was also sold out. I got this Lancome concealer and I got it in the lightest shade because I really wanted a concealer that I can put under my eyes for a super brightening effect. And I've seen so many people talk about this, so I wanted to give it a try. Pat McGrath Fetish Liquid Eyeshadow. I feel like this would be really pretty on the eyes. Should I swatch it? Imagine this on your eyes. It's so freaking pretty. And then I also got McGrath highlighter. Also swatched this in store. Absolutely insane. Like so insane. One of the prettiest highlighters I think I've ever tested. I haven't tried it yet, but I can only imagine it's like amazing got this mario secret glow highlighter apparently if you put this on your eyes and your cheekbones it gives you like that wet look and i really want to try it on my eyes tonight and if you get anything from this definitely get the patrick ta pumping gloss let's open together what i got from the 2023 sephora sale i got three of the two face mascaras in chocolate waterproof and black i got two of the mario badescu face brushes from Rare Beauty, I got the Bronzing Stick in Happy Soul, the Blush in Shade Hope, and the Highlighter in Shade Enlighten. I also got their mascara in the mini size. I got the Kosas Plump and Juicy Spray, Tower 20 SOS Spray, got the Charlotte Tilbury Finish Powder in the shade Fair, Summer Fridays in Pink Sugar. I got the Peter Thomas Roth Gift Set. I got the Makeup by Mario Blush in the shade Pinch Be Pink. I got the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum, Makeup by Mario Contour Stick. Summer Friday's Eye Cream, the Anastasia Brow Gel. I got the Tarte Lip Liner in shade Buff. Hey Teen Gift Set. Lastly, I got this holiday set from Sephora. It's their holiday must-haves. So go to part two to watch me open this. Bye. Did you notice me? Nobody we know the paranoia Cause I put a smile on my face A facade you can never face And if you don't know me well at all You won't see how buried I am inside my grave Inside my grave not done a haul in a hot minute so i'm so excited okay starting off with sephora we all know the sephora sale was today so i got some really good deals and i'm really excited to show you guys okay starting off i got this little like gift set for my sister for christmas i know it's like really early for christmas stuff but it's like a lip kit and she's like obsessed with like lip stuff okay these next two things are for one of my friends for her birthday so i got this little like set with like the sephora like skincare set it has like i think a face cleanser a serum and then a moisturizer and then i got her also like the laneige set 
thing. I'm gonna have to block her because she cannot be seeing her birthday present early. Okay, next I got the Inculist Caffeine Eye Cream. I already had this, but I just wanted to rebuy it because I'm almost out. Okay, next I got the Salicylic Acid from The Ordinary. This stuff is so good. I've already bought it, but I just had to like rebuy it. Okay, the last thing I got is the Makeup by Mario Concealer, and I'm so excited about this. I've been wanting this concealer for so long, and I finally had a gift card, so I just bought it. Okay, next is from H&M, and I just got one thing. I just got this little like striped sweater. It's just like the cutest thing ever. I'm obsessed with it and it's so soft. Oh my god. Anyways, next from American Eagle, I just got one thing too. I just got this like little white sweater and it's like one of those ones that's like off the shoulder. Like it, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, lastly from Marshalls, they don't have bags anymore. So I didn't get a bag, but it's so cute. It's just this like little sweater. It's so much cuter on and like in person, but like I love it so much. Okay, that's the end of the haul, but let me know if I should start doing more hauls because I've been recently just doing lots of Garrity with me, and I feel like I should get back into the whole like haul thing. Anyways, that's it. Bye, guys. I have a Sephora hack for the girlies. This is if you're a Rouge member, and um, even the girl at the Sephora checkout today had never heard of it. So basically you can get a $100 gift card towards whatever you wanna use it on. If you save up 2,500 points, you can redeem it on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the app. And I think they drop at 12 noon uh, Pacific Standard Time. I'm pretty sure that's right. And you can use it on whatever you want. Um, it takes about 24 hours be before you get the coupon, so like you can't buy it on Tuesday and use it on Tuesday. You have to wait a few days. Um, and then yeah, you can use it in store or online. So I'm going to show you what I got with mine. I spent um, almost $300 today, but look what came back in stock. These have been out of stock for so long. You guys, this is available. This one right here, Rio Sunset, is available on the Sephora app right now. So if you want it, you need to go get it immediately before it sells out again. And then I got another Copacabana bronze. They were fully stocked, so I should have got more, honestly. But I love using these on bridal clients. This is the one that I'm putting on my chest all the time in my videos, and you guys are always asking about it. And I love having both these um, for clients. These are non-transferable body glows. They're like shimmery body oil. Um, and they smell phenomenal. They smell so good. Also for the kit, I picked up another Omega water cream from the Inky List. I'm blowing through this stuff. And I know that I bought two, but I guess I've used them both because I can't find my, my backup. So I just went ahead and got another one of those. Also picked up the Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cleansing Foam. I need a new cleanser. And they didn't have any Kate Somerville stuff in the Sephora. So this was a Sephora Inside Kohl's. Um, and they did not have any of the Kate Somerville stuff, so I picked up this. I normally get the goat milk cleanser. Actually, oh yeah, there's a thingy on it. I want to see what it smells like. Oh, 
actually really nice just smells super clean but i really like the goat milk cleanser from kate somerville um but i just haven't repurchased it in a while but um yeah i've just been using some different cleansers that i've been getting in pr but i wanted to pick up this one give it a try and i'll let you guys know what i think another restock iconic nude lip liner from charlotte tilbury this one is my favorite um i have it on right now with a little bit of gloss but this is one of my absolute favorite lip liners and the shade is just very good and as you guys know if you've seen in my last couple videos it's about down to this so it's time for a new one i got this beautiful like i i don't even know this is it this is the glazed crayon from iconic london so on one side it's got like a metallic um like crayon type consistency product but this is oh my god this right here are you seeing that that top shade oh i immediately want to put that on i think i want to do a bridal makeup tutorial with that like that right there is inspiring me it is so stunning so beautiful it has like the prettiest uh rose gold reflect oh my god i'm so excited this is the shade nectar by the way also finally got my hands on the two patrick ta uh lip glosses that i've been wanting these are the plumping glosses um in the shades two cc's and pouty and i've been wanting these to put in my makeup kit so this is the shade two cc's so cute it's like the perfect peachy pink it's like a natural like lip color and then this is pouty it's clear so I like to mix these in, look at that. It's kind of like a clear pink actually, but that looks so good. I'm so excited. I like to mix these in with lipstick and put them on for a juicy lip, um, especially on brides. I love a gloss. I'm, I'm just biased. I think gloss looks so good. And lastly, can you believe I've only ever tried sunscreen from Nude Sticks? I've never tried their cream blushes. I got this shade, they were fully stocked in this also. I got, Oh gosh, I'm dropping things. I got the cream blush in the shade Sun Kissed Pink. Here, I'll show up. Just watch it for you. That's gorgeous. Oh my God, I'm so excited to put that on my face. That's going to be so beautiful. I'll definitely, oh, I dropped the lid. I'll definitely give you a review on that. Okay, and that's my Sephora haul. I'm all done. Going to get lunch and then I will see you guys later. I love you so much. Bye. I'm good, I'm good, I'm great. No, it's been a while, now I'm mixing up a drink. I just need a girl who gon' really understand. I just need a girl who gon' really understand. I'm good, I'm good, I'm great. No, it's been a while, now I'm mixing up a drink. I just need a girl who gon' really understand. I just need a girl who gon' really understand. And I seen her get rich in the pool. I seen her, I knew she had to know. You already know what time it is. I went to Sephora, spent way too much money, so let me show you what I got. We're gonna start off with the first thing that was free because it was my birthday gift from months ago. It's the Ilia mascara and then the stick, whatever that is. I only got this because of the separator portion on the Ilia mascara because I wanna try it so bad. And next I got two shades of the NARS concealer. It's the soft matte concealer and I see people using it to like spot conceal their acne scars or any pimples they have. I got two different shades because I'm not sure which shade is gonna be mine and I'm just gonna go return the one that I don't use. You guys are gonna love this one. This is the Rare Beauty highlighter in the shade shade mesmerize it is so pretty and when the lady swatched it on me it just looked absolutely perfect and i love it can't wait to show you guys then i got the nars afterglow liquid blush this is in the shade insatiable and i actually just have to show this to you guys because it is the most beautiful blush i have ever seen in my entire life i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand for you so it's gonna look really really dark when i first swatch it but just let me blend it out and just trust the process okay it looks like the brightest red but then you blend it and it turns into this like rosy pink. And this is just me blending it with my finger. Obviously, if you used a brush or a beauty blender, it would probably look a little bit better. But look how beautiful that is. And also, you can use this on your lips as well. I just put a little bit on my lips so you guys could see. Look at that. And it kind of acts like a lip stain, so it'll stay on. It won't come off. This one is my absolute favorite out of this haul so far. Because I just, oh, I just can't, I can't. 
Okay, now this product is actually really cool. This is the House Labs Lip Oil. And I've heard really, really good things about this, so I wanted to just go ahead and try it on camera for you guys. I swatched it in the store, but I haven't used it since I got home. It's apparently a color-changing lip oil that changes to your pH. I love the applicator. It's smooth going on. Oh, it's definitely making my lips really pink, but I also have that blush on already, so it probably won't be this pink without that blush. This is in the shade Primary. And in the store, they had a bunch of different shades of this, and they all kind of changed different colors, but it's still always based off of your pH. Y'all best believe next week I'm going to be back in Sephora, so be expecting another haul sometime soon. Love ya. Everything I got at Sephora 2023. This is my biggest Sephora haul yet. Oh, I just got back from Sephora in the city. I just put my sweatpants on and I'm ready to show you guys everything I took home with my golden key ticket from Sephora. This is the bag of makeup that came with my ticket purchase. It is supposed to be valued at over $1,500. It is full size products. So I'm gonna just show you literally everything in this bag. One full size Brazilian butt bum cream. One Moroccan oil treatment. The Natasha Denona Love Face Palette. Here's what that looks like. Amika Soul Food Hair Mask. This is the best stuff ever. Junk Elephant Proteiny Moisturizer. Replica Mini Fragrances. Here's what those look like. Summer Fridays Vitamin C Serum. Ceremonia Guava Rescue Spray. Pattern Curl Gel. Skin Fix Lipid Serum. K18 Hair Mask. I'm excited to try this one. Laneige Water Bank Set. In this free Hydration Heroes set, Tatcha Overnight Repair Cream, Tower 28 SOS Rescue Spray. I have been dying to try this one out. Tom Ford Soleil Body Oil. This smells amazing. Say Glowy Super Gel, Dr. Jart Moisturizer, Benefit Fan Fest Mascara, Sephora Collection Size Up Mascara, Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops, Briogeo Scalp Revival. This Fenty Skin Cookies and Clean Face Mask. Charlotte Tilbury Four Pan Pillow Talk Eyeshadow Palette. I actually already have this and it's on my eyes today, so that is a favorite for sure. Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush in Happy. I already have this. Again, it's on my face. One of my favorites. Makeup Forever Lip Liner. Killian Travel Fragrance in Good Girl Gone Bad. Fable and Main Hair Oil. I've never heard of this brand, but they had a really cool booth at Sephora today. NARS Matte Lipstick in Thunder Kiss. Patrick Ta Major Lamination Brow Gel. I also have this on already, so there are some duplicates here for me that I already love. Kosa's Plump and Juicy Lip Collagen Booster. Pat McGrath Eye Primer. I also took home this Moroccan Oil Reusable Tote. This Milk Makeup Reusable Tote as well. Milk Makeup Beanie. Charlotte Tilbury samples. This is the setting spray. And then there's a little compact mirror in here. Pharmacy Green Clean Sample. Pharmacy Honey Halo Moisturizer. Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray. And then the Fenty Beauty Body Sauce. And then this bag is filled completely with samples that I got from going from booth to booth. And yeah, if you guys want a video on this bag or part two, let me know. But yeah, that's everything that came with my gold key bag that I bought. Um, I got to see Patrick Ta's masterclass. So I'm going to post a whole other video about my Sephora experience today or tomorrow. So check back. Bye. Hi guys, and I have a haul to do. So I went to Sephora um, and they're literally out of stock of everything that I wanted.
But it's because I wanted, like, all the stuff that, like, everyone has. So, I was, like, expecting to be out of stock. So, I'm going to check online. So, hopefully, I'll have a makeup haul coming online soon. But, anyway, let's start with what I got at Sephora. Because I did find some pretty good finds. So, okay. First, we're going to start with this. I bought the mini version. And, oh, my goodness. It's so good. And I got it because Alex Ergal Earl got it. And I, like, love my lashes. So, I had to get it in the bigger version. And, yeah. I look you love it. Okay, guys, and then next, oh, wait, should I do this last? No, I didn't get that much. Okay, so next, so there's this hair mask that I think Alex Earl uses, and I forget her name, but she's another girl I follow that, like, knows Alex Earl. I literally love her, too, but she, I've seen, like, many people use this and said that they love it, and I literally have to get it. It's this K18, it's a leave-in hair mask repair, and just everyone says it's, like, so amazing. And I'm so excited to try this out. So, we're going to test this out, and I'll let you guys know. Okay, so I already took it out of the packaging, but I got this uh, Clinique. I don't know how to say this brand, but I literally have used this brand before. It's a lash serum. So, basically, I've been using Rade Lash, but, like, I'm scared it's, like, not working, and just, like, like my lashes are falling out. Like, I don't know. I'm just scared of Grande Lash. So my mom saw this one and she's like, let's try this one out. So I'm trying this one out. I've only used it twice, so obviously I can't see a difference. But I mean, I don't have puffy eyes at all. And it's like pretty good so far. Okay, so then I got a NARS concealer. I got a mini one though because it's not the shade that my mom has. It's one lighter or that my other one has. And I want to see if it's better than the one I'm wearing right now, which I don't think it is because I like the one I have on right now. But I got to make it to try it out. It's literally, if you're looking for a concealer, this one. Literally this one. It's literally the, like, it's like, it goes on so nice. I'm obsessed. That's it. Thanks for watching. Better under you, I can't $149.39 to be exact. So I told y'all I was collecting everything from this scent. I got the Sol de Janeiro perfume. Basically, I saw this thing on TikTok where if you use the same scent for everything, deodorant, shampoo, it like increases the way you smell. Okay, it's so cute. It's like a little disco ball. I'm gonna go ahead and spray some 
Oh my gosh. Okay, my boyfriend's gonna love that. Next, I needed a new bronzer stick because mine's almost out, so I got the Makeup by Mario one. I got the shade medium because I like my contour to be a little bit darker. So that is the color. Then it has like the little brush on the other end, which I don't know if I'll use that, but let me know if you guys do. Okay, then I got one more thing. I'll show you guys. I got the Way, I don't know how you pronounce it, leave-in conditioner. It's like a detangler and a heat protectant. It smells so good, and I just thought it'd be good with my extensions. All right, bye. The damage has been done. Sephora haul. Guess guess how much this cost me. You don't want to guess. I mean, I didn't even get that many stuff, but this is a lot to me. So let's get into it. Also, I just realized everything is pink, so I'm that girl. Okay, so first off, you already know. We got the watermelon toner from Glow Recipe because I actually love this stuff. I mean, I haven't used it. But I see it all over my For You page and they look so oh hey, so aesthetic. Like, are you kidding me? This is glass. Oh, hello? Thank you. Like, my desk looks so much more aesthetic with that sitting on there. Thank you. And to keep up with the glow recipe trend, <laughs> we got the dew drops too because, you know, we got to keep up with that dewy look or whatever. Um, so these are the watermelon glow you know i'm not even gonna try to say that but the dew drops and these actually smell so good let's put it right next to the glow recipe toner yeah that's nice sheesh and last but not least yep only got three things i got the 68 sol de janeiro perfume because i was trying not to be too basic and get the 62 just kidding i I wanted to be different. But anyways, let's put her on. Oh, Schneider, I can't. Give me a sec. Woo! 62 that I have is like in the mini size, so I needed a perfume that was in like a regular size. Damn. That's strong. Okay, thanks for watching my Sephora haul, my massive Sephora haul. Hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, I'm that girl now. Bye.
This is embarrassing, like actually. So I walked into Sephora for two things, a new face wash and the Summer Fridays new mint and lip balm or whatever. And I left with a little bit more than that. And so did not leave with the lip balm and that was like the one thing that I really wanted. So yeah, anyways, let's do a haul. So the first thing I got is the face wash, the one thing that I actually came for that I needed and I just ran out of this. This is my third time going to refill this face wash and when I tell you guys like it is the best face wash ever like this is what it looks like the rice wash I think I've showed it in a haul before but it is so good and I'm like super acne prone and this actually clears my acne like so quick and every time I stop using it I break out so I swear by this stuff and then the next thing I got is the Olaplex number 4P. It's just like the toning shampoo for blonde hair because our water sucks and my hair is getting gross So I really needed that. Okay, and then the next thing I got is from glow recipe and it's the avocado Recovery serum and this is really good for like redness. I think I haven't really seen very many people use it But I have very sensitive skin and so I thought that this would be good for like redness and just like overall like skin barrier and I have had like really bad acne in the past. Okay, and then the next thing I got is the Brazilian Bum Bum. It's like the glow oil. And this I've actually seen a lot all over. And I've always wanted it. I just like never actually ended up buying it. But this time I bought it. And it, I don't know. I just feel like it's really good for like, you know when your chest is like paler than your face when you like do a full face of makeup? Because that happens to me. So I don't know if anyone relates, but also will not go back in the box. And you can like put it on like your arms and stuff if you're feeling pale and okay then the next thing i got is the rare beauty positive light highlighter and i in the shade exhilarate and it is literally so pretty what the packaging looks like and it's so pretty this is what it looks like like oh my gosh i don't have any powder highlights so i think that this would be a good like over like a cream highlighter just to like set it i think that's what i'm imagining in my head so yeah and then the next thing i got everyone has it's the pillow talk lip liner by charlotte tilbury but yeah so this is just a really good it's like a nude shade this is like the color sort of it's like not too dark not too light but it's kind of like a more natural one and then the last thing that i got is the ysl candy glaze and i got it in the shade flashing rose and i've seen this like all over tiktok so i had to get it and this is what it oh, this is what it looks like, super pretty. And this is the shade. And then you just like, put it on a little bit. And I would say I probably wouldn't wear this on like the, actually, it could be good for like a daily color, but mix between a lipstick and a lip gloss. And so, yeah. Really trying to justify what I just did. Definitely did a little bit of damage, but you know, girl math, right? Like if you use this every day, it's like $1, right? I don't know. <laughs> but okay, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.